Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths Tutorial Functional Analysis Class Number 19. In this video, we learn some definitions and one very very important and lengthiest theorem. Let us see the definitions. Open sphere. Let us define open sphere first. Let capital X comma D. Let capital X comma D be a metric space capital X comma D be a metric space and X naught is an element of capital X if capital R is any positive real number if, if small r I'm sorry if small r is any positive real number then the set then the set set of all elements x belongs to capital x such that d of x comma x naught less than small r less than small r is called an open sphere is called an open sphere is called an open sphere or it is also called an open ball it is also called an open ball. Open sphere and open ball are same terms. Here, the point x naught is called. There is a point. The point x naught is called center. X naught is called center of the sphere. Center of the open sphere. Center. And r is called. Small r is called radius small r is called radius radius of the open sphere of the open sphere and it is denoted by it is denoted by there is a symbol for this it is denoted by capital s of x naught comma r or s r of x naught so let us see x comma d be a metric space x naught is an arbitrary point of capital x small r is an element small r sorry small r is any positive real number then the set of all elements small x belongs to capital x satisfying the condition d of x comma x naught is less than r is called an open sphere or open ball the point x naught is called center and the positive real number r is called radius of the open sphere this open sphere is denoted by s of x naught comma r or s r of x naught that is you can write like this s of x naught comma r is equals to s r of x naught is equals to set of all elements set of all elements x belongs to capital x such that d of x comma x naught is less than small r here this x naught is center and this positive real number small r is called radius this set is known as open ball or open sphere that's it this is the definition for open sphere right now we go for next definition closed sphere closed sphere a closed sphere a closed sphere it is also known as a closed ball closed ball is denoted by is denoted by capital s of closed interval x naught comma r and defined as and defined as the set of all elements x belongs to capital x such that d of x comma x naught less than or equals to small r less than or equals to small r now you observe the difference here now you observe the difference here this is open ball and whenever you write the closed ball the symbol is 
closed interval x naught comma r and defined as set of all elements x belongs to capital x such that d of x comma x naught less than or equals to small r here this is the main difference here the set of all points which less than r here the set of all points which less than are equal to r less than or equal to r so this is known as closed sphere this is known as closed sphere right now we go for next definition open set open set let capital x comma d be a metric space let capital x comma d be a metric space and capital a sub capital a is a subset of capital x capital a is a subset of capital x then capital a is called open set capital a is called open set if and only if if and only if for each for each x belongs to capital a there exists small r greater than 0 such that there exists small r greater than 0 such that s of x comma r is a subset to capital a s of x comma r is subset to capital a what it means what it means that is that is for every for every point for every point x belongs to capital a for every point x belongs to capital a there is there is an open sphere there is an open sphere in capital a corresponding to x corresponding to x remember that corresponding to x that is the point so whenever we said that a set is open it means for every x belongs to capital a is open implies and implied by for each small x belongs to capital a there exists an open sphere s of x comma r which is subset to capital a which is subset to capital a so that's it now we go for next definition interior point interior point let capital A be a subset of a metric space. Let capital A be a subset of a metric space. Capital X comma D. A point, a point. Small x belongs to capital A. Is called an interior point. Is called an interior point. Interior point of capital a if if capital a is a neighborhood capital a is a neighborhood of x capital a is a neighborhood of x then it is called the point is called interior point interior point so here we learn one more one more term the set of all interior points the set of all interior points the set of all interior points of capital a is called interior of a is called interior of capital a and it is denoted by and it is denoted by interior of a is denoted by int of capital a int of capital a or it is also denoted by a power a power naught a naught a power zero small zero a power small zero so right so these are the this is the definition for interior point so uh, we learn here open sphere and we learn closed sphere we learn open set and we learn interior point now let us see some properties of all these definitions some properties of all these definitions so first one first one properties of all these a power 0 means interior of a is largest 
a power 0 means interior of a is the largest largest open set in a is the largest open set in a is the largest open set in a let us see in the note point 2 our second property a power 0 means interior of a is the union of interior of a is the union of all open sets all open sets contained contained in capital a contained in contained by capital a contains contained in capital a property number three a power zero is subset to a is subset to a bar a bar means closure and fourth point a power zero sorry fourth point a is open capital a is open implies and implied by a power 0 is equals to a interior what is a power 0 means remember that it is interior of a interior of a is equals to a and property number 5 capital a is closed set capital a is closed set implies and implied by a is equals to a bar a closure a is equals to a bar and property number 6 a subset to b implies implies a interior is subset to B interior and A closure is subset to B closure. A closure is subset to B closure. Now go for seventh point. Seventh point. A intersection B whole power 0 is equals to A interior intersection B interior. In a similar manner, A interior union B interior is equals to A union B whole interior. Let us see eighth point. A union B whole bar is equals to or it is subset to it is subset to A bar intersection B bar and A union B A union B A union B whole bar is equals to A bar intersection B bar and let us see there is a small doubt in this interior one uh, in in I can clarify this again can clarify this again let us see the eighth one a interior power interior to the interior a power whole power 0 is equals to a power 0 and a bar whole bar is equals to a bar a bar whole bar is equals to a bar let us see now we we learn one more definition here closure of a set closure of a set let us see let capital A be a subset. Let capital A be a subset of a metric space. Subset of a metric space. Capital X. The closure of A. The closure of capital A is denoted by the symbol. Is denoted by the symbol A bar. And defined as and defined as the intersection of the intersection of all closed sets the intersection of all closed sets containing capital A all closed set containing capital A that is that is A bar is equals to intersection set of all sets F such that f is closed f is closed and f is superset to a f is closed and f is superset to a so remember that by using this definition you can conclude that you can conclude that a bar is the by this definition you can conclude that a bar is the smallest a bar is the smallest closed set smallest closed set containing capital a containing capital a a bar is the smallest closed set containing capital a smallest closed set containing capital a so right so this is known as closure of a set and you remember this definition closure means closure means it is the intersection of closure means it is the intersection of all closed sets intersection of all closed sets 
containing the set capital A. All closed set containing the set capital A. Remember that. Remember that. Here uh, we we learn some properties according to this closure. According to this closure. First one, A union B whole bar is equals to A union B whole bar not is equals to A union B whole bar is subset to A bar intersection B bar and and A union B whole bar is equals to A bar union B bar A bar union B bar remember this remember this A union B A union B whole bar is equals to A bar union B bar at the same time A union B whole bar is subset to A bar intersection B bar A bar intersection B bar I think there is a small correction in this property even in our textbook also A intersection B whole bar A intersection B whole bar is subset to A bar intersection B bar is subset to A bar intersection B bar you can see the proof also you can see the proof also in the next video we will learn that let us see let us continue our class there is a theorem one of the very very important one uh, which is very useful to prove the open mapping theorem so this is the base for open mapping theorem let us see the statement capital B and B dash are two Banach spaces and capital T maps B into B dash is a continuous linear transformation of B on to B dash. Then the image of each open sphere centered at origin in capital B contains an open sphere centered at origin in B dash. I repeat the statement. Observe carefully. B and B dash are Banach spaces. T is a linear transformation from B into B dash, which is continuous and on to. Then the image of each open sphere, then the image of each open sphere centered at origin in B contains an open sphere centered at origin in B dash. In B dash. Right. Uh, in the next video, we prove the state, we prove the, we write the proof of this theorem. Keep learning. Wish you all the best.